Now let us understand the transaction menu of profit annex. In transaction menu, let us start with cash entry. In all the entry options, you have a facility of list which will show you all the previously entered transactions. Plus you can filter it on various parameters. For example, here if I want to know that which cash payment entries I have made against tea coffee expenses, I can simply filter it here itself and check all of them. All right, now let's add one transaction. We are adding one payment entry for office telephone expense and let's say it is of 1500 rupees. If you have enabled cost centers in your version of profit, you can also define that this telephone expense is for which telephone number and for which location. This can provide you lot of reports on cost center. Apart from that, while entering the narration, remember the repeated narrations. There is an option of, you know, narration help where you can simply select the repetitive narration and the narration will come automatically. Now, if we save the transaction here again, there is excellent feature of profit and X, which is called scheduler. See, we all know that various expenses need to be entered repeatedly every month. For example, our office telephone expense needs to be entered, you know, every month. So I will say telephone expense and uh, you know I can decide that okay I want to do it on a monthly basis for all the months and I want to repeat that entry because I, I expect my telephone bills to arrive on let's say 29th of every month so on 29th of every month profit and X will remind me that my telephone entry is due so even if the telephone bill has been misplaced I'll come to know that this entry is due well this was all about cash entry now let's go to bank entry again in the bank entry we've got a similar kind of list available and we can add one bank transaction let's say I'm making a payment entry to one advertising agency the check number whichever is the last check number will come automatically the date will come i will enter let's say 10000 rupees now if tds is applicable it will immediately show you the calculation of tds with all the details and the moment i press ok you know the tds account will get credited and the net amount payable to the party will automatically come here. So this is how I can also maintain my complete TDS account and I can write whatever payment and uh, you know bill number ABC whatever the bill number is available. So this is how I can easily make my bank transactions. Now supposing while entering this bank entry I have one more option is I can store the images along with this voucher which means supposing I have made the payment I have deposited this payment in the account of this particular client and I have the bank slip available with me so I can simply select that bank slip and you know that bank slip will appear and I can store it along with the voucher so that even in future if I want to know that this payment was made by so and so bank slip it is available now let's go to purchase entry now you can enter purchase order purchase challenge you can enter the purchase transactions how the purchase transaction happens you can select the parties bill number parties bill date whatever the item and uh, the quantity and all the taxes uh, which are already there purchase bill of the party so this is how you can and you can also select I mean if you can scan the purchase original purchase bill of the party you can scan and again keep it as a document for your document management part. Alright let's go to one more transaction for example we go to sales in sales we've got sales order sales challenge sales entry let's have a look at sales order. Uh, once again the sales order like all other transactions you've got a complete list and 
see many a times we need to go to reports but here the this particular list helps us in many ways for example i just want to check the pending orders i can simply select pending orders here and it will be available with me or if i just want to group it so i will have the list of completed orders and list of pending orders correct now of the completed orders supposing i want to filter that how many orders i have completed for amdabad i will have the list of amdabad and again if i say that okay not amdabad i'll select all and i want to know how many orders i have done for gujarat so these are my orders for the gujarat so likewise lot of features are available even while you enter the data and the order entry is very simple you select the product and the quantity and the rate at which you picked up the order and it will store that detail and these details can be utilized when you are entering your sales transaction you can enter your sales transaction against a particular order now here we are in sales transaction let's say previously entered one transaction we just try and see how that transaction is there you will see that sales invoice number bill type party all the options are available here also there are excellent options available for example if i want to know while entering the transaction that how many invoices i have made for this particular customer kamanya tiles traders it will show me all the previously entered transactions of this particular party similarly supposing if i want to know that how many transactions i have entered for a particular combination of my product see here i am selling vitrified tiles with design number 107 standard 605 by 605 and running now if i want to know that the same combination to whom have i sold in past i will get all the information of invoices for the same combination so while working on the sales transaction it provides you excellent kind of history and by which you can find out the rates that you have sold the items at and all the information of parties that you have sold again along with sales transaction for the people who are having a retail counter they can enter the payment details right over here supposing you you made a sale and you have received the payment in cash or part payment in check and part payment by credit card all the information you can enter right away and you need not enter a separate entry for payment so this was about the sales transaction similarly you can do all the form entry c forms f forms h forms stock transfer entries when you want to transfer the stock from one location to another location wastage entry gain entry all these entries are part of the transaction similarly uh, if you want to enter production entry that is also provided for the enterprise version users they can maintain their production entries over here the production entries can be done very easily for all the finished goods which are produced through a particular entry and if you have you know whatever raw material which has been used uh, that also can be uh, entered over here and you will get all the information so you can create a complete production entry either by entering separate entries for finished good produced and separate entries for raw material used or the same entry where both of them are used this is how profit nx provides you excellent features of all the transaction entries